Um, no, Noonan's, Noonan's up and coming. I'm very excited for you. And if you want me, I'll go. I'll go down. And I'll like, do some free marketing for Tell you. Hell yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I'll be a landlord. I don't like bitches. Some time off soon from the tour. Whatever you want. I got you. I got you. Don't let him bring on your your financial freedom parade. Stop. This fucking office is a mess. Like, do we have a housekeeper here? What the fuck? Uh, terrible. Right? No. Yeah. Like we. This yeah. Is... No. I gotta be honest. I know it is. Yeah. 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 yeah it's yeah, a fucking this is a disaster. Shit show. <laughs> this is actually uh, it, much better. Like, if you came last week, yeah, two weeks ago, you would probably have like turned around, and walked out. It was a disaster. I mean, I almost like broke my neck on like a Coors Light can in the hallway. <laughs> I'm just saying. I brought. We my, need to clean it up. I brought my kids here for the first time, and uh, this back hallway. To be fair, that's where like the freight elevator is. Mm -hmm. So like, it's supposed to be messy. But she, they were like, "What is this?" And I was like, "It's garbage." Yeah. <laughs> my sister, uh, my, my daughter goes, "What is this? What is that smell?" And I was like, "It's rotting garbage." But yeah, this it's is rotting garbage at work. Yeah. It's an office of creatives. We yeah. need to have I hear you. nonsense around in order to to have our synapses firing and shit yeah. like that. I right? fully hear if you. we had a yes. clean office, I would sit here and do math. We'd have no jobs. Yeah, there'd be nothing. Fired. Or you can do what I'm doing right now. I. <laughs> I put on a steroid because I was losing my voice, and la I swear to God, I'm speedballing so hard right now. Yeah. I've never done meth, but if this is like a touch of what it's like, sign a bitch as, up. As someone, who, as someone who's done meth, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, okay. pretty, it's pretty much like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little tricky <laughs> right meth. now. Oh, or just any other, most drugs are meth. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> yeah. Anytime you've dabbled, you get a yeah, little, if you, little sprinkle of meth. If you've meth. done a drug that wasn't yeah. weed, you've done some meth. Yeah, that's a problem now. That's why I don't, I don't yeah. dabble yeah. anymore. Because you never, you get, you, everyone's got on the damn fentanyl and shit. Yeah. Is that why why you stopped? Yeah, that is why I stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, threat yeah. Of, of meth and death. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. It's not just like the natural progression of maturity and adulthood. Mm, absolutely no. not. It was like I might lose if my anything. teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was death and vanity. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. We were, that should be like your next tour. Yes. Death and vanity tour. Truly. We were Love actually that. talking about that the other day. We were like, man, we haven't done ecstasy in a long time. Mm. And yeah. my buddy was like, I want to do pressed ecstasy. What the fuck we, is pressed? Like a pill. Like not pill Molly, like not that shit. Like a fucking pill. We were like... This is mostly meth. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant like a, almost like a pressed juice, like some fancy <laughs> shit where it's like, no, this is a cold pressed oh, ecstasy. God damn. You've been, you've been in LA for a minute, huh? I have. I, I have. thought you meant a green juice with some lemon yeah, and cayenne. Truly. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeto had a bit about it. Andrew Santino in his latest hour was like, I grew up, because he was talking about the vaccine. I, I don't know what's in it. I don't want to put anything in my body that I don't know what's in it. And he's like, mm. I did fucking ecstasy every weekend for three years. <laughs> and I'm not talking about that pure shit. We were putting, like, you know, fucking bleach in our body. No, dude. <laughs> That's how I feel. I literally, when I was on tour right before the pandemic, I was doing a show in Portland. And, like, you're doing multiple shows in a row. Mm -hmm. And people, like, bring you gifts out of the show, which is, like, a perk of the job, right? Mm -hmm. I love free shit. But literally, this woman who was blacked out out of her mind was like, hey, I have a B12 shot in my purse. Pulled it out. Loose syringe. I was so tired. I pulled down my pants. Just let her do. <laughs> It. What? Yeah, and when my husband found out, and then when my producer Chris She's found out, she's a wild like, bitch. Yeah, he was like, "What the fuck are you doing? Did you ask for like a nurse thing or anything?" Yeah, yeah no, no credentials, no nothing. Just pulled the pants. No credentials. Yeah, and I was like, "I'm tired. No, sure, yeah. I'll take it." And. <laughs> Turned out it was B12. Thank, <laughs> thank God. God. It's also yeah. B12. Like, how much energy work? do you get from B12? Yeah, it'll give you a little zip. B Not B12 much what I'm on right now. Like <laughs> CBD, you know? Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. can like, legally buy it, it can't yeah. get you up that much. It just it was a real like character moment where I had to look in the mirror the next day and be like, that could have been anything. It could have been black tar heroin. I didn't know. This woman was hammered and just pulled it out of her purse. I was like, yeah, sure. So. But also, <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of with you. Yeah, I've yeah. done random birth <laughs> drugs. Never intravenously. Yeah, I I'm embarrassed by that. Yeah, At the same time, yeah, you probably like 999 times out of a thousand, you're probably good. Yeah. A fan shows up and says, I got B12. Like, you have to be a pretty fucking crazy lunatic to be like, ha, it's actually well, fucking. It could have been know, one right, of those. It's right. actually poison. <laughs> have you ever met a white woman, though? Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. You know, I know my audience, and there are days where I'm like, one of these bitches is going to kill me one day. <laughs> Do you get worried about that? Well, no. I, um, not, not necessarily. Well, I, I wasn't you. until about 30 <laughs> seconds ago. Uh, but the, the, audience of, uh, the audience of white women is yeah. one that I think is very good, like you're gonna make a lot of money and they yeah. will like rally around you, yeah. but also like some shit goes wrong, they'll turn on you and they'll fucking hate a bitch. Well, you know, I'm so self-deprecating that I don't get a lot of haters, because really, truly, it's like, li listen, the joke's on me. I already hate myself. Yeah, I already hate myself. Yeah, yeah. 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 deep <laughs> trauma. Um, 
Yeah, but there are days where like I'll get like really cool gifts after the show, but it's like something whittled or but like people they'll find your Bro, address. You know on. what I mean? Yeah. yeah like, like, a, like, a, whittled. like a whittled little ornament that they have like a, they sell in their Etsy store. But there are days where I'm like, you found my address, you have my number. You know what I mean? They'll you find whittled your you. fans all live on farms. Like, what, um, what, I've never heard of something whittled in my life. You you've never had like a homemade ornament. Maybe whittled wasn't the right word, <laughs> but maybe like hot glued a scrapbook. There, picture no, it like in in a uh, in a uh, yeah, fucking. Overalls, just like whittle. There's no other word I could use other than whittle. Once you drop, they're the not whole doing lot, it in overalls. They're doing it in spanks. But regardless, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, they're just very creative. Like they'll find you. You know what yeah, I mean? They always find yeah. what hotel you're at. It's like people ask me, like, do you get creepy <laughs> what, dudes? What, what yeah. word to describe it? Creative. Yeah. Cre- yeah. yeah. Very creative. <laughs> these, are, these people are illegally <laughs> stalking yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fine because they're like, girl, like you know, I knew one of your sorority sisters, but I'm like, you're in my hotel room bathroom right now, and this is fucking weird. How did now you get put here? a fucking needle in my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I built the monsters, so it's yeah, on yeah. yeah I can't complain. Um, yo, shout out to our girl Brittany though. I know. You did it. I mean, I feel like you deserve like twenty nine percent credit. I like. Thir- a, I'll give you thirty three percent. I I'd think like it's a like Pulitzer Brittany, Prize. Uh, the the girls who do like that Brittany podcast and yeah, you. yeah. I appreciate yeah, you that. You should get a Pulitzer or like a Nobel or something. like Nobel. that. Nobel. I think Pulitzer no. if you wrote a book or yeah. something. Well, but yeah, next. yeah. I don't. I know people who got Pulitzer for pictures. Not personally, but I've heard really? of them. Yeah. Yeah. You can get a Pulitzer for yeah. anything. We get a Pulitzer. For but podcasting. I don't think you should get it anyway because I don't think she should be out of her conservative. This bitch. This motherfucker okay. is one of these guys. <laughs> now listen. This is a raw conversation. I, it's very controversial, but you know how I feel because we talked about it last time. Yes. Uh, Here's the deal. I'm glad she has her money. Like, if I was working as hard as I am now and somebody was taking my money, I'd be pissed. Fuck them, yeah. But there are days where I do think we can have an uh, open, honest conversation that a little bit of the behavior on Instagram is a little still unhinged. A little bit much. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I am, am, if I was, like, friends with Britney or making the argument and then she posted it, I'd be like, girl, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, We're so close. We're so close to the finish line. Do you have to pretend you're dead right now on Instagram? Right, right, right. (laughs) Put your clothes on. Stop with the nipples. Stop pretending. And your dad and that was two in? weeks ago when she like posted like she was like tied up with a bloody mouth and, and it was like, like a Halloween we're so thing. Close. Yeah, we're so close. I agree. Um, but listen, if she wants to go to Party City and buy fake blood and like run around in Sophie shorts, live, laugh, love. But you it's, know, it's Sophie not shorts might be the most concerning. Yeah, <laughs> it's not even about her. It's more like I think I should be in a conservatorship. We all should. And be. I think you I'm were. a little more. He was just in a conservatorship. He just got control of his own money from his mom. Recently. Yeah, mom, really. My mom yeah. just gave it to me. And just, she just get, like like gave you the password to the Chase account or no, what the she, fuck? It was in like a, it was a, and it's also it's not like not like a, like a fund like it's just my it's just my money that I yeah earned. is this a humble brag that you have a trust no, fund no, no, like no, what the fuck no, are you doing it's here? It's not that at all. <laughs> He's a child. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was the. It was put into a uh, local savings uh, account. Savings, right? Was it? Do you have like a bond or some what is, shit? Uh, oh, I have, I have heavily invested in a bond. Okay. Just great, great, great. Bond. great. So you're fucked. You do know that, right? <laughs> no, because I, well, I also have an apartment in Noonan, Atlanta. He has, so two, he has two investments. <laughs> okay. A, a, an apartment, like an apartment in a complex outside the suburbs of Atlanta. Noonan And he County. just recently yeah, bought Yeah, I live in Atlanta. Bond. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know Noonan. Uh, yeah, what do you yeah. think of Noonan? Noonan, is that what it is? I mean, yeah. it's, shout out to Noonan. It's an up and coming place, 45 minutes from the airport. It is. It, actually, actually, Noonan's up and coming. I will tell Get you. Out! No, it is. It is. Noonan's up and coming. You heard it here first. Yeah. Like, like, like a couple months ago, uh, I think a tornado came through Atlanta. Is it that sure true? did. Sure and did. It, like, it was like, they said like, they said something like, you know, tornado like in the in the suburbs, like 45 minutes outside of Atlanta. And everyone was like, oh, oh no. shit. <laughs> now, what did you buy? Just up uh, an apartment or like no, a complex? No, I invested in an apartment complex. I love it. I got an apartment complex in like Wichita, Kansas. Hell yeah. So, <laughs> Listen, we're fucking, fucking doing it. Yeah, yeah, but it sounds like you own an apartment complex. I do own sounds the complex. Sounds like you have like a investment in some sort of timeshare or something. No, I have an investment <laughs> in an apartment you, complex. You, I can show you, you pictures of it. Do you have an apartment? Do you own like uh, unit like three? No, like no, no, no. Do you have that? Do you own like a thing? Well, yeah, we, we, yeah, we invested in the, the complex. The How many complex, do we own, honey? Yeah. My husband's saying. What? I don't. You own 330 you apartments? Units? Got it. It's yeah, like a big conglomerate. So okay, that I just want y'all to know I'm Elon Musk. So <laughs> that's where we're at. That's uh, that's where I'm at financially. Okay. Um, no, Noonan's, Noonan's up and coming. I'm very excited for you. And if you want me, I'll go. I'll go down. And I'll like do some free marketing for you. Hell yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I'll be a landlord. I don't I, like bitches. Some time off soon from the tour. Whatever you want. I got you. I got you. Don't let him bring on your your financial 
Freedom Parade. Uh, yeah, I mean, as soon as I we got a place there, Atlanta Braves won the World Series. Like things are on the up and up. Oh, yeah, you things are on the up and up. There you go. And yeah. you know what? We didn't realize we needed you, but now that you're there, look <laughs> yeah. at us. You are humming, babe. Yeah, there you go. Wow. You are you are humming. You, oh, you, me. You, oh, you, yeah, you. Oh, I mean, yeah, I we're mean. doing movies. We're doing tours. We're doing. We're freeing celebrities. We're doing podcasts. Yeah, you got it all. We're doing a lot. She's tired, hence why she's on. You know, um, high dose <laughs> steroids right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean it's crazy. I'm I'm just so grateful, and the tour is insane. And we got three shows in New York, and then I go to Boston, and it's nonstop. Yeah, but it's great. When, when did you start touring? Um, I started touring right before the pandemic. Yeah, so fuck yeah. you. Yeah, I'm yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. sick what? of these people. Yeah, I'm sick of everybody. Why? In the world, because. We have been doing this podcast forever. Yeah. And we were doing live shows. Well, we, we should have capitalized more. We did like live shows here and there. Yeah. But we were podcasting and doing live shows so yeah. long ago. And now everyone's got a podcast and doing live tours. And there's only so many fucking tickets that people can buy. And you're already rich from other shit. So yeah, fuck yeah. you. I am rich Leave from poor podcasts. From alone. my apartment in Kansas. Yeah. Yes, I am. That is a fact. Um, okay, but here's the deal. Your show, though, live is a podcast. Yeah. Okay, my show's not a podcast. My show's a stand-up tour. So oh, shut so, yeah, the fuck totally up. Yeah, I've been working at yeah, this yeah, for 12 yeah, goddamn no, no, years. Yeah. Yeah. No, that is true. Stand-up yeah. stand tour is totally different. You're right. I would, I'm I would love to do a podcast the, show. Everyone, all the live podcasts. It's like, yeah. listen, we are the ones who are not good enough to do stand-up, who do a mediocre podcast right. on stage. <laughs> That's our bag. <laughs> Figure out your own hustle. I will admit, though, when I've been invited to do like podcast shows, I'm like, this is the fucking gig. You sit on a couch, you talk to a couple yeah, people in the audience, yeah. and you get the check and you get drunk. I've liked doing stretches, <laughs> vocal warm-ups. Like, I'm, like, trying to, like, well, be a performer. The only thing is... I'll say on the other side of it is uh, we still want to put on, like, a good show, and there's no guarantee that's really going to happen because we right. just go out there and wing it, whereas, right. like, as a stand-up, you got to earn it and create it, so, right. like, it's not easy. But once you have your routine, I'd imagine it's, like, yeah. like you know when you're going to get a big laugh and you know every step of the way yeah. where we go out there sometimes and I'm, like, ah, I don't know, I hope that segment where we talk about, like, that fucking girl who peed on that guy's head is yeah. good. Did you see that, by the oh, way? Can I be honest with you? I saw that at dinner last night. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. What? yeah. And I know people are into kinks, but that kind of pub public display of like, I don't give a fuck anymore is concerning. That oh, that's your issue with it, is the public aspect of it? Because I saw it, and I was like, I might have a kink. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> My thing is, like, like, I mean, she peed no in his mouth. Which turned side? off. Which side? Like, you didn't... Uh, either, either right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably, probably the Triple H fucking the guy just spraying it. Yeah, he yeah, was special. Yeah, listen, you could pee maybe on my leg, the nether region, but I don't want it near my face. Yeah. I don't fucking want that. And then I guess, then I guess the hydration's crazy. important. Oh, like where you what what your hydration level is at? I'm like, always fucking thirsty, clearly, but like, not she, for pee. If you're like clearly, a 50 year old oh, no, man wait, at a football wait, game level, you're hydration. talking about you're talking about consuming. You're talking about having hydrated so when you let it fly, right? I'm talking about no, like, like you're the like, one who pees. I don't I don't want the I don't want a pee smell. Like, right. He, like want, a, he wants a highly <laughs> You want a light hydrated. light urine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 like yeah, a, yeah. Clear I mean, light urine. Like a cut yellow gator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like like you drank half of it and then you uh -huh. filled that with water. Mm -hmm. Like that's about where I, I tap out. Yes. Yeah. If you're pissing fucking uh, you had like an I don't emergency know, asparagus pizza, yeah, 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 yeah. or just you like even that. just like an orange juice, yeah, an yeah. emergency something like that. Yeah, I can't have that. Yeah, and if you that, take B twelve, like, like a Sunday morning <laughs> piss, no. If, if got you take a B twelve and you end up with that shot. neon urine, and you're like, <laughs> and you always forget. You're like, oh Whoa. man, like what the fuck's happening? Yeah. Am I dying? <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. one of the more. It takes a lot to shock me on the internet now, yeah. and I was like, whoa, because it was just so much. Which means she took the stage like really having to go. Yeah, she must have been like, okay, we're at the part where like we're at the part of the show where we thank God. Yeah. I mean, you I've know. been on stage before and I've been like, might have just shit myself. Like for like a <laughs> second, you're like, I don't know. Like I'm literally delivering a joke and I'm like, something might have happened. I haven't felt well for a couple of days. But the, but the thought of like just pulling your pants down and just, you and, know. And she was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, really. Like she almost it. shit. That would have been the shit. fucking She fiasco. did fart. Yeah. She yeah, had to she at did. least you did, fart. You did hear it in the microphone, but she did fart. Like, she did. <laughs> and then did you see their response? Uh, people were very upset. They were like, they were like, um. I didn't like see the, her response. Like the, 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 the band tweeted out like, um, like shout out to Daytona. You guys really brought up. It's happening in Daytona. Daytona. Yeah, course, yeah. Right? Fucking Florida. And, and, and yeah. they were like, um. Things got a little carried away. That wasn't something we expected, and no, nor will it be something that happens at our shows going forward. But like, thanks for rocking out. And it was like, <laughs> you absolutely. It was premeditated as fuck. <laughs> I, the I guy was like, I'm the winner. Yeah. I got on stage and he laid yeah. there, and she did it. That was not like a spur of the moment thing. And on top of that, her wife is like the head Peloton instructor. That's right. She's like a really high yeah. up 
and I'm sure she is not happy. Listen, the kind of kinky shit that I'm sure that the Peloton instructors get, like I think I'm, yeah. I'm worried about my fans some days. <laughs> Imagine being a Peloton instructor. Yeah. People are fucking grinding on a bike, right. li- watching you're high, you. Tits you're are hot, out, yeah, like, tits yeah, are out. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten <laughs> gotten off on the Peloton bike a couple <laughs> times myself. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to, uh, tr- what is it, uh, Alex, Alex. <laughs> shout out to Alex. <laughs> Toussaint, Toussaint, I love you. Um, you know, you're on the thing and it's so I get it. You know yeah. what I mean? They probably are dealing with that. So I'm sure she's got a kinky wife what you know? would you do if he went viral for uh i guess getting pissed off like that there would be a murder what if, like the household was like the, the the household name was tarnished because yeah. he went viral for peeing or getting peed on but but not like in a cheating way like in this concert way okay if we were at like i don't know I, I, it could be as douchey as like a creed concert and jeff was like i want to get peed on we, we would no longer be together okay and i would be stalking a peloton instructor myself no absolutely not can i be honest with here you? i am thinking you were one of those cool wives yeah those not. cool wives that scott stab piss on my husband uh, <laughs> like, imagine that right to creed. Oh my God. I, found, I don't care if it's scott stab yeah. i actually found out what a cuckold was from you guys. Oh, yeah? Still not okay about it. It just, it threw me off. Okay, I'm in comedy. We talk about all the things on stage, but I don't know why when he had to really like break it down and explain it, I was like, I, this is fucked up. Yeah, it's and wild. listen, I, you know, I'm a bitch who likes to get dick down, but I, I really <laughs> live a pretty vanilla life, apparently. I don't want him having sex with anybody else. I don't want to have sex I, with I anybody else. It's so awesome how, it. how like that's become kind of like a weird thing on the internet. Yeah, like, like you've been I like I appreciate yeah, monogamous yeah. prude. Yeah. yeah. God forbid you're in a loving, stable relationship <laughs> yeah. and you respect just, the person. Just to clarify, I do like sex, yeah. but just with the person I'm in yeah. love with. I, I have seen uh, two different places, though. I just recently learned the term for it. Yeah. So now they're trying to this 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 uh, group of society is trying to really like make this. They're pushing this agenda Always. because it's called compersion. Excuse me. Compersion. C O M P E R S I O N is like if you feel compersion, that means you're turned on by watching your other your significant other fuck somebody. So they're now trying to put like a fancy label on it. Like if you run around saying like I like I want to watch my wife get fucked by some guy with a big dick, you're like you're a weirdo. If you're like I feel compersion for my significant other. It, People it, are gonna like take you seriously. Okay, but at the end of the day, it. you just wanna watch. It just means like you get off by feeling, you watching your other be in like a passionate situation or some shit. Okay. I've never even had a threesome. I know, shock. Blame. But here's my deal. As a woman, I don't wanna have a threesome with two men. I okay. don't. I want. I don't want too one dick, dick. Too much dick. There's too you much don't dick. Want one dick. I want. I'll have one dick, but I don't want another dick coming out my face. Okay. There's too much dick. And I feel like with another woman, like you know, I would just. I'd kind of want to just smell her and maybe ask her what her, her workout routine is. You know what I mean? I'm like, why? Why don't you have eczema on the back vibrant. of your, your legs? You know? I don't know. You want to just have coffee with the lady? Yeah, I want to have a coffee with the lady and talk about serums. Yeah. 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 yeah, who knows? You could have been talking about Britney or something like that. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean, it's like daily gossip, hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it could be a thing. It could. God, I just know. Very every, specific time of, kind of threesome. Yeah, <laughs> I just know every guy right now watching is like, oh, damn. <laughs> like, fuck. New threesome. <laughs> Take that out of my spank bank. <laughs> I've been doing press all day long. I was like, listen, I'm going into Barstool. Just like, made me look, you know, kind of fuckable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we, we I say this all the time. Like we're on camera so fucking much, and we don't ever do any hair or makeup. I, I wish don't I either. For my shit, it's look just fuckable. You know, it's like you know? it's like when you're doing this the promos for stuff. You gotta like they're like, look please fuckable. brush your hair today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, well, I've started washing my. I, I, you said serum, and my my brain went off. Yeah, I use a protein serum now. What? Is it what does that mean? Uh, a protein uh, serum? Oh, okay, well, fuck. Man. Yeah, what I, does I that said mean? I just started. I don't know. Okay. I know it. I don't well, he literally <laughs> just started. Okay. No, 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 no. He just started cleaning his face, like, period. And look at all the pimples on my face. Look at he all the pimples on He hasn't washed his face in, like, 15 years until, like, like ever? this week. Yes, like, yeah, ever. Like, what do you do in the shower? Is that just considered, like, a loose bar, rinse? Bar stop. Bar soap stops here. You're and a fucking and he, psycho, and, and man. He, <laughs> he doesn't wash his hair, either. Which I know sometimes, you know, you wash, like, every other day or whatever. He washes, like, every other month. And he doesn't wash his How face. How do you not have lice? Yeah, it's like don't or get something. checked. Same reason. Same way I don't get checked. <laughs> same way I don't have gonorrhea. No one's ever told me I do. You're looking at two carriers of HPV right here, ladies. <laughs> oh, watch I out. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Have HPV. I feel like yeah. that's yeah. like a. I was right on the edge of like, 
HP, <laughs> like we we discovered HPV like right after I quit college. Not yeah. wasn't that, that's also just such a like that's another thing like compersion. They just started calling it HPV. It's like doesn't mean you all have herpes. HPV. No, 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 HPV no, is human papillomavirus. Thing. Oh, it's, it's a totally different, different thing. Oh, I totally. thought that was yeah. a herpes yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. No, no, we've all got both of them. I, I <laughs> genuinely have HPV. That's not a joke. Like I probably have herpes. Ah, huh? no, I have HPV. Get, get, uh, uh, diagnosed? Yeah. yeah. Like, like I, yeah. No, not diagnosed. I've been to a doctor in ten years, but if I went to a doctor and got tested for HPV. They'd be like, for sure, I this guy. It would come back like, like negative, positive, and for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, dogs can get it. Yeah? My dog oh, got it. I for sure I have it. He's got it. Yeah, my dog yeah. got it. Canine papillomavirus that's from a getting box. a little too frisky at the dog park. Yeah. Swear to God. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's where I got it, too. That's where we're at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> John's got CPV also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With canine. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, the HP, I mean, if we're being honest about HPV, HPV is like, that's the fucking... First world problems of STDs. Yeah. 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 Like, all right, yellow HPV. Who gives a right? shit? Well, it's. Well, you turn into uh, ovarian cancer from women. Yeah, it right? can be very fucked up. Yes, yeah. actually, that's, but, that's, but that's actually why I came here is for the PSA. <laughs> Ladies, get your pap smear, get checked. Yeah. Like, all seriousness. But um, no. But for, but, for the men, for this side of the table. But this like is what's HPV, fucked up about it. Is that you guys carry it and then you give it, but you don't know you have it. Yeah. You can't really check. Yeah. Right. So, yet it's again, a, it's like, yet again, yeah. you fucked up our lives. Yeah. Yeah. HPV and babies. We carry them. We don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys yeah. got to deal with the fucking problems. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> no, but really. Uh, no. no, for real, I'm leaving. <laughs> for real, go fuck yourselves. This place is a dump. It's a wrap. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man, God. it's got to suck to be a chick. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's, it's, but, okay, all right, if I gave you the, uh, you know, the magic, uh, if I gave you, like, a genie, magic yeah. wish, whatever, you could just, boom, be a guy tomorrow, would you do it? Fuck no. Right? So then, <laughs> I'll tell you why. So then shut the fuck <laughs> up. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. I, well, because I'm on testosterone. Well, okay, not testosterone. I'm on steroids. But I will say um, I froze my eggs in March. Wow. The, I know the room's like, what? <laughs> um, and they put me on testosterone because uh -huh. you got to like balance out the estrogen and testosterone. I, for like two weeks, felt what it was like to be a man. I was fucking roid raging. I turned into a monster. I was horny all the time. Mm -hmm. I would call my husband from like a Chipotle parking lot just crying on the phone listening to Post Malone. <laughs> He's like, are you good? I'm like, I'm on Post Malone. Yeah. I mean, it is. I I've heard. Uh, um, I went nuts. There was, uh, who was it? Fuck. There was somebody who was uh, on a show that um, they were transitioning. And they okay. were like, I feel like I owe an apology to like all men because uh -huh. I didn't know this is what it felt like yeah. from the same thing. I'm not there we, yet. I don't need to apologize <laughs> to you fuckers. But when you realize yeah. like what we're dealing with, it's like, yeah, it's an uncontrollable level of horniness and irresponsibility and, and, that we have to deal. And we start getting it when we're like 13. Yeah, and we was, don't know what the fuck we're doing. I, I hear you then. Like I was just in like Trader Joe's, just kind of like rubbing myself against the wine rack. Like, <laughs> you know what's going you, on? You, fuck you. you. <laughs> yeah, because there is. We, we had weird. this conversation a long time ago where it was like, there, there is so much uh, in the world of like, look, accept whoever you are on the inside, and like just regular men. We're psychopaths. So yeah. we're accepting who everyone else is on the inside, except the fact that inside of me, I, I was punching my tile shower this morning, <laughs> screaming in rage. Why? What were you upset about? Let's talk about water it. was cold. It wouldn't get hot. <laughs> I was I was punching the wall. Going, you fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> and then guess what? Guess what? Worked. <laughs> so, yeah, water, water got warm. Yes, yeah, so I got it warm. It's unbelievable. I've been in there. I'd just like for you to take down works. your rage though right now like, <laughs> to a dull roar because I still am a lady. God damn. Again. This place you sucks. You are <laughs> I'm kidding. I love it. Honestly, no, though, really I'm a pretty so broad bitch. I feel like we could fight. I could wrestle you. I could. I could fuck you up. When well, was the last time you were in a fight? Um, when was the last time? Uh, like a physical fight? Yeah. Oh, not for years. I'm not a big fighter, though. When was the last time you punched a bitch in the face? I've never punched a bitch in Everybody? the face. Everybody? No, no, well, so what are you doing in a fight? You, I'm 5'10", I'm and I got broad shoulders. I, they would die, and I'm not yeah. trying to go to jail. You know True. what I mean? <laughs> um, I've cat scratched you know, my sister once or twice, but no, uh -huh. I'm not a really physical... I'm not gonna fight you. What the fuck am I gonna do that for? I'm with so I you. fuck up my face, and then I gotta Seriously. deal with the, the lawsuit. So okay, this is no. the question I've been asking recently. What would it take? <laughs> You've been for asking you to women. Fight? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, <laughs> how many fights have you been in? It started with me because uh, a homeless guy punched me in the back. Oh fuck! And I was, but I just kept walking because what am I gonna yeah. fucking do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, what if he punched me in the face? And same thing. I was like, I'm probably just gonna keep walking because 
I'm, yeah. I'm going to either get stuck with a needle or or I'm going to jail or yeah. whatever. So what would it take for you to be like, okay, I have to fight this person? If anybody ever touched my dog or mm. my future child. Ch- well, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about to you? Uh, to it, me? Like, I mean, would, yeah, like your I could life get, have to be in danger. Or yeah, like, I mean, I could get scrappy. Again, we've talked about how my fans are kind of crazy. Let's not <laughs> give them ideas. Like, she's weak. She's like, she's got blind spots. Like, don't don't set there's me a up. There's chink in the armor. We <laughs> know exactly how to hit her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no, I mean, if I had to, but I'm also like a very chill person. And then once I rage, I rage. Like when, mm. when I snap, like it's a dull roar, and then it's yeah. all of a sudden everyone's gonna die. Okay. So don't get me there. You know, I what have mean? Uh, inanimate rage. Inanimate object rage. Like I get mad at, at things, not people. Okay, like a like, like a remote like control you can't yeah, find or something. Yeah, the the dishwasher like door won't close. Your flashlight. Just yeah. sit there. Yeah, my flashlight's not working. I smash it. Like those things. Were, yeah, or, the you shower. Know, spe- yeah, sure. Yeah. The shower. Like if uh, like the other day I was I was vacuuming yeah. and I was trying to pull the uh, cord out from okay. like a distance and it wouldn't pull out because I was just at the wrong angle. Yeah. So basically I just need to like walk like over two feet and then would it come out perfectly fine. Yeah, or you get but a cord But instead I just stuck, stuck there and just kept pulling. Yeah, yeah. Knowing it wasn't going to work but I was like, I'm not going to fucking bend to this. Uh-huh. And I just went crazy over a fucking vacuum cord. Okay, and that's, that's the, the first sign of HPV. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, get the cordless. Did- just get a cord I'll shut the fuck good. up. <laughs> <laughs> ha, you know, one thing is crazy. I, I, I'm I, sorry, you're even vacuuming. You're even vacuuming. Yeah. yeah I get, get kids yeah, could, you bring, could you bring your tools to this fucking place? <laughs> <laughs> For God's sakes, I walked off the elevator. I was like, okay, we're, are, we're all going to get tetanus today. Like, what the fuck? It's, it's not that bad, right? It sucks. <laughs> yeah, you thought this was yeah. bad? Yeah. We, we were, we, our old studio specifically was described as uh, inside of a lit cigarette. Oh, wow. and, and then it was called a white person's trap house. <laughs> there you go. I like that. I like that. <laughs> you know, it, it's, uh, what's the, this has got to be like the worst place you, you do tour, you do press? Where? Here? Yeah. In this office yeah, right this now? Yeah, the worst place. <laughs> I will say, um, yeah, I'm leaving very sweaty and my asshole's been clenched the whole time. Um, it's hot here, right? No, it's great. It's, I'm going to fight yeah. everybody out there. No, it is very they, hot. They, are they smoke cold you out. out there. They are? Yes. And so I complain and I turn down the, 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 the AC and then they like, they complain to like other, like, important people yeah i'm like i don't know what to tell you you're like you're smoking a bitch out yeah 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 i hear you what, what's your ideal temperature oh uh i would say a good 68 yeah i gotta go 66 but okay, i can deal I with 68 you. yeah but anyone who hits that seven no if you're going 71 despicable. and up you're yeah you're like go live in like florida with like the retirement home you can't function in regular society if you can't go into the 60s i feel you but like are you what what's your what's your like coat game in the winter you one of those guys that goes down like two hoodies you're like i don't need a, no, a puff no, coat i, I do i yeah. do coats i like coats. you like coats. Jackets, yeah I'm i am a billion jackets i love jacket i love a uh, okay, fall and, i like that and, about and, you you <laughs> don't you don't bathe or wash your face but <laughs> it's got jackets i love <laughs> jackets to me are like my favorite like piece of clothing but i got fall and winter uh, fall and spring jackets which don't exist anymore fall was like 35 seconds long mm. we're already into like the 30s in the morning right yeah, now it was 43 t- today it's like already the winter it's it's a touch of global warming Bullshit. i hate to tell yeah. you but the, the earth is on yeah. fire and, and so. every, every, you know, that's what's gonna get me to fucking care about the environment i don't care if the polar bears are dead i just can't wear my jacket from theory okay because i missed the, the the temperature's never right for it now we gotta go get me leo you. and that little bitch from norway and you we'll hate a vest yeah, yeah yeah i hear you i hear you yeah <laughs> Well, that's the thing too. It's like I've got when you freeze your eggs, you have a baby on ice somewhere, right? So mm-hmm. I have like a baby on ice, and I think to myself, I'm like, this kid could be fucking defrosting, and I don't even realize it. <laughs> she could just be floating down the Mississippi River right now, and I didn't even realize it. Like Greta Thunberg yeah, was warning me about this shit. Yeah, she's just in a canoe like Moses or in a basket, you know? I didn't fucking know about this. I we had a sponsor uh, for like one episode of a sperm freezing donating company. Right. And they mailed me the kit. Oh, it's, yeah. Intense. And usually, like, you know, I don't know, we have, like, a hoodie company or, like, they, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a yeah. socks company <laughs> yeah. or something. And all of a sudden, I get a box in the mail. I open it up, and it's got that hazmat, like, barbed wire yeah. symbol on it. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And it had the cup and all this, you know. Did you read I felt the, like Jurassic Park. Did you read the instructions <laughs> at all? Because it's pretty insane. Yeah. When you When you give a, a semen sample, you can't, yeah, it has to be a dry rub. Okay, because you can't have like yeah, lube, you know, lube or anything oh, in there. And I, can, have, I can wait. Okay, check. I can do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you can do that. And then you have you, you the tip of your penis cannot touch the cup Ooh. because that'll also be like a weird science petri dish thing. So you got to basically catch it. 
Yeah, well, you oh. also just need like a drop, right? No, you need a lot. You need oh, a, you see, need a pretty I, heavy load. Like, <laughs> you need a big load. How right, large of a bingo, load? Bingo. You need a, how you many need a whole time? Load. We came in this episode. We're like, all right, we're gonna get her to say heavy say load. load. Yeah, heavy load. <laughs> how many cum shots exactly? Yeah, that's the name of the need. third tour. Heather <laughs> McMahon, the heavy load tour. <laughs> Would they know if what? you like if it's multi loads? Like Probably. if you like if you fired one shot and you're like that's not enough and you had to like wait mm. a little bit come back well, with the, here's with the fucked up thing I became really close with the nurses because you're going in there every day they're checking your vitals doing all the shit it's pretty intense and I became friends with the nurses so when my husband had to go drop off his load <laughs> they were like this is great they're like it's a solid sample I said what do you usually get they okay. said sometimes yeah 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 yeah, yeah that kind of I, I would I would hate if they were like oh your husband's load is like a little skimpy well, you, <laughs> yeah, fuck you know what they said some of these older guys who come in with younger wives, they'll spit in the cup and it's not really semen because they don't want to have kids. Oh, right, right, right. And so, so that they, then the nurses can't say anything because of HIPAA laws. Uh -huh. So they basically just have to be like, we didn't get a sufficient sample for like the six month in a row. So. Brilliant. Dudes rock. <laughs> Dudes are so smart. <laughs> I hate it here. Why did I say that? I hate these people. <laughs> that is the yeah. best move Hell ever. Hell yeah, heard. dude. I'm sorry, America. <laughs> Ladies, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so but I thought good. that was fucked up. I was like, what? you know, they couldn't have the honest conversation. Hey, I don't want to have the kid. They would just spit in the. Or oh, what if they had tried to have the honest conversation? Right, and they probably was, did, and they the had some bitch saying, "I'm gonna key. get a fucking kid." They're like, "Don't, I want <laughs> a kid." I'm getting this kid. You just said that. You were so exhausted. That you said that. It's just some bitch saying, "I want a fucking kid." Wow, wow, guys, what do we want to talk? Like, do we need to like like hold each other after this? Really, like, do you, do you have kids, right? Yeah, yeah. Do, do you want to have more kids? Oh, you just saw what he just said. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, I actually sadly do. Yeah. I'm a horrible father. I got I got yeah. one and one. Yeah. Uh, we're boy and a girl. Great. Pretty good. I, I, I wouldn't I just don't want to start the clock again. That's I what's hear you. off. Right. It's like I could, you know. Because babies uh, are hard. Yeah. And it, we're in that space where everyone's like, when are you gonna have a kid? When are you gonna have a kid? I'm like, listen, I'm in my career right now, like I'm working, I'm wheeling and dealing. But that's the thing. I see my friends with young kids and I'm like, this is a fuck it's a lot. And I don't wanna be like a not involved parent. Right. So like but I also don't wanna be an old parent, so if I'm gonna do it I, again I'd have to do it soon. You know, right. it's like it's yeah. a whole thing. It's a whole thing. <laughs> it's a whole fucking thing. Or you can just buy an apartment complex in Noonan <laughs> and just tell your whole family to go fuck themselves. <laughs> I'll put you in touch with a guy. Yeah. Yeah. You have kids you don't have kids, right? No. He is no. <laughs> yeah. What am I saying? You can't wash kid. your face. Yeah. He is my third child. I really appreciate you asking me that. Yeah. yeah. That was like, yeah. that, I could go home today feeling good about okay. myself. Someone like, asked me Heather if I thought there's a chance I might have a child. Because I'm leaving this place a shell of a human, but I'm glad I built you fuckers up. Okay. All right. I'll give you a shout out. I love, okay. love hard. Thank you. Came out too early. Don't understand why, it's, <laughs> don't understand why it came out on November 5th. It's like but. fucking jackets, right? <laughs> the winter coats are out in May. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it. I, I was like, I saw you. That's what you're promoting. And I was like, yeah. oh, like, I wish I got a screen for that. And then I went on Netflix. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh it's, it's out. out. It's yeah, out. It's out. <laughs> well, that's yeah. because, you know, these motherfuckers want to stretch out Christmas time. You yeah, know? yeah it's that's like, true. Christmas we, did get, I, I'm Christmas surprised this didn't up. come out on uh, Halloween, you know? Yeah, and here's my thing. I don't really fuck with Christmas, but I enjoyed making a Christmas movie. But, you know, I'm What's over it. your beef with Christmas? I'll tell you why my dad died at Christmas, you <laughs> fucker. <laughs> I can laugh about it now, but really and truly. Okay. Christmas Day? Yeah. I'll, I'll match you then. Two days before, and I told him in the hospital, I said, if you die on Christmas Eve <laughs> for Christmas, I will, I will I'll, you I'll, again. I'll be on your grave, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> you better fucking go yeah. now. So, Shit, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, the 23rd. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, we're working through it. But, yeah. <laughs> my, my best friend who passed away, he was mm. born on Christmas, mm -hmm. so we start every Christmas Eve at his grave. So we got the same kind you of. Oh, I don't have any dead people yeah. on Christmas, guys. Sorry, Jesus was born on Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck you guys. You don't also have investments in a car yeah. apartment yeah. complexes. Yeah. So we got a lot of shit on our us that You don't have kid. Yeah. <laughs> I need somebody to die, and I got to get an investment in like Oklahoma yeah. soon. You do. You do. Yeah. Um. Are you, so you did you just start acting? Because that's not fair that you're like already like you're like a prominent role in this movie. Yeah. You're like. Yeah. The, did the, I just start acting that's a great question to ask somebody who's been in the business struggling for years <laughs> 
<laughs> so you're That's new to this, huh? Been in it for 25 no, years. No, that is honestly the best, most humbling thing. We've never seen you before. See, I, I, well, I just thought, I, I, I it's not a fair. No, There's know, so many people in the world I, in the world I haven't heard I of. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to cover my tracks real quick. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. who you were until you were on the show, and then I started yeah. following you, and then I, I came wherever you were. Go fuck yourself. It's fine. We're an actor. No, I, this is one of the first big things I've been in, so it's fine, actually. Uh, yeah, no, I was, I've always been an actor, and you know, here I am, just crushing it. Crush. The one on Netflix, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. That's what's up. Are, are you one? Did you beat Red Notice? Yeah, we did. Fuck we, yeah. yeah, we were number one. How? So, bring that holiday cheer. <laughs> That's what's up. Did you do any scenes with Jimmy O. Yang? Or were you guys um, like very dick? No, no, we, I didn't get to do any scenes with him, but we got to hang out. We were basically like quarantined in Canada. So it was he's just the like, best. Yeah, he's the he's absolute so best. He's awesome. And then the other guy in the movie, Darren Barnett, who's like the total heartthrob, he and I used to work at a gym together in LA. So he showed up on set. I was like, Darren? He's like, what the fuck are you doing here? I'm like, we both made it. <laughs> Bro, He's like, like, you act? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, I've never seen you anything before. Um, so it's wild. And that's the thing now. It's like when you're doing comedy, you run into these people that you worked those survival jobs with forever. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. oh, fuck. Okay, somebody finally gave you a chance, too. So it's humbling and exciting and the people at the same you time. don't see, are, they're just like dead. They just yeah, like, and I'm like, then, yeah, they're yeah. in the gutter. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're literally in the gutter. <laughs> like you and Darren are like, hey, have yeah. you seen uh, that? Have you seen like Rob around? Yeah, Rob, oh, no, no, no. He's, he's dead. He's, he's still actually He's gone. Got addicted to meth and the rest is dead. Got HPV and it's a wrap. <laughs> Took one press pill at an MGMT show. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. You beat Red Notice, though. We did. Uh, I think we Red did. Notice is just like the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Who Unless, is in Red Notice? Uh, the Rock, Ryan oh. Reynolds, and Gal Gadot. Have you heard of them? Oh, yeah, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> unless any of those three want to come on the show as well, then it was awesome. It was a great movie. <laughs> but until The Rock and Ryan Reynolds want to come on the show, that movie stunk. I don't know how so. The Rock does it. Like his, he's like a Mark Wahlberg. Like, you know, mm -hmm. get up at 3 a.m. and fucking yeah. juice up. I yeah. don't get it. I'm fucking tired all, all the day. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Well, I'm on steroids, steroids and I, I can fall asleep I, right now. I, 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 I think. I think they're on the bigger steroids. That's how I think, they I think are they're too. on the main, yeah, the main yeah. steroids, the okay. real stuff. Yeah. I think we all should be on HGH. What's HGH? Human, Human growth? growth hormone. It's, okay. it's natural. It just helps you like feel better and grow. It's oh, like, I was why on that on? when I was freezing my eggs. I was on testosterone, HGH, just and, kept it going. And, and progesterone. And I was fucking picking up the end of a Mercedes every day <laughs> just to like, Jeff's like, you want me to pull out of the garage? I'm like, fuck no, I got it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, and why do you want to get on human growth? I mean, my body, I'm a bag of bones. My body is a disaster, and I just need a little, uh, you know, something to. Do you work out? No. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. That's why I want it. I want a pill that does like the workout for me. I'm pretty sure on human growth hormone, you still have Shut to. Shut up! Okay, you know <laughs> yeah. what? Again, this with is your a toxic female environment. Logic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With your female logic, like, you gotta follow the program, <laughs> sir. Fuck. Yeah. Goddamn. You guys are irrational beasts until you're not. And then you're very logical. I realize, like, Jeff comes on the road with me sometimes, and God bless him, I'll send him to CVS. I'm like, hey, get a couple things for me, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, give me a Afrin nose spray, some Altoids, and some tampons. And he'll come back, and I'm like, what was he'll, the first one? Sorry. The, like, uh, nose spray. nose spray. Afrin nose spray. Oh, Maybe. Afrin nose spray. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just throwing okay. something out okay. there. Okay. Allegra. I don't know. Are they sponsors of the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> and no, we're, we're a Purdue family over here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he'll come back with, like, nothing in it. And I'm just like, <laughs> men cannot make a game time decision, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really, you can't juggle. If oh. I give you one thing, you go to the store, and it's not there. I disagree. Okay. It sounds like you get fucking lists with weird shit on it. That's what I think. Because you guys can't make a decision. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, what do you We're the only for... people who make decisions. What do you want to have for dinner tonight? Uh, I don't Chinese. Know, I don't know. Okay, you know what? Okay, uh, you know you can open. For, you can open for me and do ten minutes of that bullshit. <laughs> Women don't know what they want to eat. <laughs> this is a toxic work environment. <laughs> No, it's not, Jeff. Yeah, it's because I... It's no. fucking... Fuck all y'all. the truth. <laughs> no, I say, you know what it is? I want you to make take initiative. I want you to go, you know what? She's had a long day at work. You know what? She loves throw, Italian spot. There are three places that you go, no, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. Exactly! Because you didn't already make the reservation. So I know we got to wait an hour. Just say, bitch, I booked it. We're going to have steaks. Wear a red dress. I'm going to dick you down later. Let's fucking go. <laughs> That's what I want. This is also marriage counseling. <laughs> no, no, see, that's all I want bullshit. a man! Yeah. <laughs> that's bullshit, too. 
because it's not. It's th- not. Yes, it is because then there's something wrong with the plan that I make, and then you. What you don't realize is that mm-hmm. we make a plan mm-hmm. and then there's something wrong with it and you shoot it down. And then I try it again and you shoot that one down. You shoot That's down. called foreplay. And, and that's what we do. <laughs> and then we belittle you <laughs> at a red lobster until you want to kill yourself. And then we build you back up then as, we you back to. Up as yes. you're going down on us. Yes. That's <laughs> called a relationship. Yeah, it's, it's Jason Bourne. You need yes. to break us down so yes. that we're like no longer human and then you uh-huh. create a little Ken doll uh-huh. in the exact way you want. Yeah, yeah so I don't know why you're yeah. complaining. Shut the fuck up. I'm having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. if, so, if someone did pitch you that, where it's like, look, it's going to be tough for a little while, but at the end of it, you're... You'll be grown into like a... You're Ken. Yeah. Be like, I could probably use Ken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll like if, it out. if someone came to me and told me, like, I'm going to... Just reform who you are as a person. I can use that. I got nothing I'm holding on to. I'm like, yeah, I'll give it <laughs> I a don't shot. need any of this. Yeah, you could block me. Put so me in. The- when you date, do women not try and like spruce you up a little bit or just <laughs> take a loofah to you? Like, not think a pressure washer? They don't. Like no. a horse. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll hose you while I hit you with a brush. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There is. It's what a do they do for you? Pe- I have. I have not been tried to be fixed. In in too long. He's unfixable. Obviously. Do you he's, want to be fixed? He's Do you want? Are you? Da- I, I don't know. I'm trying. I, I, I'm trying to pry. No, are you dating anybody? I, I'm, not, I'm not currently. No, I could. I I'm could a great use a, matchmaker. I could use a fixin'. You could use a fixin'. <laughs> yeah. I could use a fixin'. He's been down in New York for too long. I could use a fixin'. Look, I could use a fixin'. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, but I would reject it. I'm like, a, I'm like a dirty dog. Okay. I know I need a bath, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll around in it. I'm gonna okay. fucking fight you on it. Well, I'm dead ass serious. Okay, when you're ready to maybe take a chance at love. I'm your girl. I'm a, an amazing matchmaker. I would love this to be like my challenge. I'm gonna this, put this at this the top of my vision board. This is a great pitch for the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, go. I got you. Yeah, you watch go. Love Hard on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm dead ass serious. If you wanna, you find you, love. you seem serious. I am. Yeah. You know, Who are you gonna? You don't need. I'm gonna set him up with one of my crazy stalkers, <laughs> and then that's I, how I get I him got to this die. I got woman named Samantha. She whittles a beautiful ornament. You know? Yeah, <laughs> and my one request is that you take him out. <laughs> yeah, I got you. You're, set you're like, this look, guy one of them's gonna kill each other. I'm really yeah, scared. yeah. The, exactly. the Earth is rid of one of them. Exactly. Either HPV spreader or a psycho killer. <laughs> yeah, and my work here is <laughs> done. <laughs> Have you signed a fucking form? Like, I'm gonna yeah. set you up with someone, and anything that happens after that, I truly. Not <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not liable for anything. But if you follow. In love, I would like to officiate the wedding. Okay. I'm just saying, challenge accepted. I'm dead ass serious. If you want to discuss, why do you it, want to match make? Because it's fun. Oh, I do. I like it. I love love. You I know mean, what I mean? I, mean, I like it, love, but it, then it, I don't have like. You done it really successfully, like often. Uh, yeah, I, I have multiple yeah. people that I've set up, and I'm doing friends, a couple weddings. Like friends, people who like listen to my podcast. I'll take bring yeah. single guys on, interview them. Sometimes you just need a little tweak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like a little tweak, just a hard scrub down, maybe. A, <laughs> Full panel of STDs. I mean, I did, I did say I was showering this and morning. I, I beat it up, yeah. but I was showering. And then, so I mean, like, I don't need full scrub down, but. And you got a trust fund? What is it? <laughs> you got a trust fund? No, or I just make Just money. a bank My account that his mom lets, lets Yeah, his mom lets him add access. Your mom access just handed you the checkbook? Is pros, that it? Here, it? Pros are owns uh, real estate in Noonan, Atlanta. Right. Uh, bought a couple bonds. Has access to his own bank account. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty it. much the problem. Yeah. Also, uh, corduroy pants. Yeah, right. like, on a big whoa. corduroy. Yeah, that's cake the first right thing we gotta fucking burn. Whoa, no. whoa, whoa, whoa! No. I have six he, he pairs is. of corduroy pants, tons of corduroy shirts, a couple corduroy hats. I'm a big corduroy guy. Corduroy is not up for discussion. Corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you want to be fixed? You can the pee in my mouth, thing. but if you take off this corduroy <laughs> hat, if, we're done. If we're talking about okay. intercourse with a woman or corduroy. I choose corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know why you're laughing. Also, That's a dead ass serious. Yeah, well, is it a textural thing? Like you could fuck corduroy because it's kind of the same <laughs> yeah. texture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most shows I just do. I go. I kind of like wear corduroy pants. Just go <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> I finish before we get to voicemails every time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that's so sad. That's yeah. a sad, sad existence. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's fine. It is, but well, you got what? But I wouldn't trade on your shirt. Well, I do a lot of animal print. Yeah, yeah but so, that's just for me. I mean, so what not- if I told you you got to give up your animal print? Um, I probably still suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't, you know, I'm just, oh, where am I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, yeah, okay, I hear you. But a corduroy is a textured thing. This is a print. It's totally different. But re- totally. What, regardless, I'm not going to fight you on your clothes. Uh, what does your apartment look like? Pretty good. Okay. He's got a nice apartment. You got a nice spot? Yeah. Well, one, it one depends on if he was uh, eating ice cream in his sleep the night prior. Mm. I, I have a sleep eating issue. Okay, or is it because you're on pills? Like no, 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 no. Just, just natural. Yeah, he, you like, just get like, up like, 
Just get up on all like just up. be like drawers open, silver on the floor. Uh, the the freezer's open. There's an ice cream tub on the ground, oh, and he's like sitting on the couch. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, what Have up? you ever recorded this? Do you know? Uh, I recorded it in the morning. It. We I, I've invited people to come put up cameras. Uh, they're probably scared of what they'd actually see on it. Like afterwards, like yeah, there's a there's a fun little part of the night where I eat ice cream. There's also a lot of it where I'm <laughs> crying and masturbating. Just <laughs> <laughs> a lot of tearful, yeah. tearful self pleasure. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah there's a, a there's a fun a three minutes. Rub in him. The rest it's, of it's pretty fucking it's, dark. It's a mint chocolate chip rub, is yeah. what that shit is. Uh-huh. Wow, wow. <laughs> have you ever had Have you ever had ice cream and sex at the same time? Uh, have you ever, have you ever had sex with the ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Ben and Jerry's new core. Right yeah, you, the you, core. Pull, you pull the core out. That, that salted caramel, <laughs> I can fuck that core. Here's the core ice cream? Yeah, oh, you, yeah. yeah you just decore it. Fucking yeah, slide it in. Fuck that. So like a like a like a ice cold fleshlight is what <laughs> yeah. you're saying. New invention yeah, yeah, by yeah, Bartzel yeah, Sports. Yeah, you're, you're a fucking Cold-cold dead body. <laughs> I regret we, we, everything. We could do a Heather McMahon flashlight and it's just like a dead cold pussy. How about that? Why is it going to be a dead well, cold pussy? Talked about. Why can't it be just a, a very alive, consensual? Would you, would you do a flashlight? <laughs> yeah. if, if, if somebody came to you and, and for some reason like everyone was like, yeah, we need a Heather McMahon flashlight. You would like mold your pussy and then sell Oh, it. that's what you have to do. It's yeah. got to be mine. My yeah. I yeah. got a great pussy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's make some money so yeah. we can buy and more apartments <laughs> in Wichita. Yeah, sure. At Wichita money. You know, and that's yeah, the thing. They, like the porn stars that we know, uh, I think I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure all of them to a woman, their most uh, lucrative like business stream is royalties on flashlights. That's yeah, fantastic. Good for them. Pervert. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause they literally really are. everyone's like, a pervert. Because really, it's like everyone you meet, it's like, do you want to fuck that pussy? You could, you know, <laughs> without, without, without like her, like without her, without her consent, you don't even need her to do it. Yeah. You can just fuck that flashlight. <laughs> but mine would be cheetah print. You can't take that away from me. Yeah, sure. Cheetah print handle, sure. a little bedazzled, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, listen, if I'm going to make a dime off of it, why not? Hell you know, yeah, I, that's not up. any form of cheating. I'm in a very loving, monogamous relationship. Yeah. But, I mean, ask my husband. You, yeah, you would you be cool with everybody <laughs> fucking her pussy? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 that could be the endorsement. On the box, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an A plus. Hey boss, yeah, yeah, great. All right, let's go. All right. Yeah, God gone. God. Off the fucking oh, rails oh. today. How did we go here? Yeah. I mean, that was go crazy. Here. That was like. <laughs> I turned to the guest husband. I said, do you mind if everybody fucks your wife's pussy? Jesus. Yeah, yeah. well, he'll stab you in the throat after this. Yeah. So. He's Italian. Buckle up. So the movie's love hard. Yeah, yeah. the movie's love hard. It's a fantastic movie um, on Netflix now. Come catch me on tour at heatherontour.com, and uh, I'll hook you up. Thank I you. you. I look forward to it. Yeah. That that's she, a that's a show in the making. She's yeah. gonna really hate it. Yeah. She's yeah. gonna hate it. You know what? I, I got you. I'm gonna mold you. But he, okay. Or what so if what if it's not even a her? Maybe here's that's the, the storyline here. Oh, Maybe have you ever been with a man? I not been yet. with a man, no. Uh, don't say it like that. Like, what? Yeah, it's very that possible. Was, that was already a negative what? undertone. That was that was homophobic. <laughs> yeah. like, no, I mean, I never been look, I'll be honest. If you want me to fuck the opposite sex, I'm gonna have a negative aspect to it. Like, That's not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm shutting down. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> totally not gay. Um, what was I gonna say? I think it would. Be, I think it'd be very hard to set up because I, I a lot of people. Think they're apathetic. I don't fucking care. I don't like you, like what kind of girl do you like? I'm like I don't. Like it's fine. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that just means you're open and progressive, spin, and you're like spin zone. Yeah, that's why she's good at this. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. that just means you're I, open. There. Can I give you all of his bad aspects? Yeah, I, was, I actually okay. need a little rap sheet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's. All right, so. Sure. This sounds like a segment I didn't sign up for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me all the reasons why your relationships let's don't see. work. What, 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 what are your worst aspects? Uh, the ap- So apathy is is now you're open. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you what what's, what are some of your worst aspects that you don't like about yourself? Uh, my face. He has an ugly face. You don't face. like your face? You no. have a very handsome face. Nah. What are you talking about? I don't care for it. You actually um, look a little bit like my ex from college in it because he was a redhead with a beard and it's kind of throwing me off. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I'm not just I'm flirting. Actually, I'm just I'm letting like, you know. I'm like super blonde, but whatever. Yeah, but, but uh, you got a red beard. This blonde thing. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay. an, it's an old bit. I'm done with that bit. <laughs> it's it's very red. Um, um, all right, you don't, so you have low self confidence? T- no yeah, confidence. Yeah, no no self confidence. Yeah. Why? What's that called? I don't, that's, you're just being a baby back bitch. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you're well, a good guy. You got, here. Yeah. you got a great apartment. I'm going to give you a quick makeover, a quick scrub down. You know? Whoa, hangover. Makeover is unnecessary. 
Makeover is the one thing we're all set on. John, John's very. Uh, well, let's talk about let's talk about the traditional term clothes. makeover. All right, when you say like you, you don't care, and I love that. Like, I, love I mean, that. do you see this sweatshirt I'm wearing? This sweatshirt is unbelievable. No, I like the sweatshirt. Yeah. I didn't say we had to change the sweatshirt. What's well, the makeover? Implies. Let me see the pants. I can't see the pants. Oh yeah, those are nice fitted. Look at you. You got the socks. No, you look good. That's fitted. I thought you were gonna have some baggy corduroys that were gonna give oh, you well, like the, a sad yeah. Oh, I've got the those. Ba the baggy cor the corduroys are enormous. Okay, yeah, that's right. Corduroys do we have, like, a are always three sizes the, too big. They are no. No, these, these are seven sizes. Too these big. look okay. like I, I've said like they're this. intentionally they're Noah huge corduroy pants. It looks like there's okay. no more corduroy in the world left because <laughs> all of it is okay. on John's okay. legs. Okay. They are. Huge pairs of corduroy pants. They're great. I love them. I actually almost wore them today, but I didn't. Uh, I We're talking that. about a lot of external things. I yeah. think there's internal work internal you need stuff. to do. Most yeah. of it's because internal. I think you yeah, should be no a confident self confidence. Guy. Um, I mean, you know, are you? How are you? You treat women well? Like you, you're a good guy. <laughs> you seem like it. You know what? For the first time, I'm going to admit it to a microphone. Absolutely not. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Okay, great. So I have to leave immediately because this is bad for my brain. <laughs> that was a so. joke. <laughs> <laughs> what, yes. what, what's the longest relationship you've been in? Long time, four years. Okay, all right. But he was scared for like three of them. <laughs> 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 he was being bullied into the majority I, I, I've of them. Been, I've been in like a four year. I've been in like a six year. I've been I've been in long term okay. relationships. And so, what is the one thing moving forward, other than obviously the corduroy? But like real talk, what's the one thing where you're like, this is the one thing I want in a partner? Oh boy. Yeah, too loaded. Goddamn. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Like, I hate he it. Went from here. flashlights. Yeah. 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 Now y'all are like, fuck this bitch. We're going. Yeah. You don't know? Like no, the one I don't. Know. I don't think I care. I don't okay. think that it would well, Goddamn. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll I find you love. I told you it was going to be hard. Yeah. I told you. This will be your greatest challenge. This will not be solved in one podcast interview. You know, you can at least say, like, I want to make sure she can read. I don't, we can start with basics. <laughs> I, I can fucking, I don't really care. I'll okay. fucking illiterate. <laughs> We're looking for an illiterate <laughs> I mean, bitch look, bro, I prefer, but if you, if you brought me someone like she can't, she's great, but you, by the way, she can't read. Right, That's right. a great question. Would you date someone who can't read? <laughs> hey, would you date someone who can't? I fuck? absolutely. You have would. to introduce like your boyfriend or girlfriend, and they're yeah. like, "Here's the menu," and and then you have to be like, "There's hamburgers." Oh, yeah. <laughs> and everyone at the, at the Bro, table. Said, I already got this fixed. Like, yeah. Oh, your guy said the lobster looks delicious today. Um, and uh, also this, and also and this. it's not yet. And you read the whole menu. But no, it's not just to her. And then someone else at the table. It's like, hey, actually, you know, it looks pretty good. The salmon it looks pretty good. <laughs> Mom, did you think? Mom, you were saying earlier that you wanted the cop salad. Yeah, <laughs> like just, what, yeah. I mean, just hit a few points. Just hitting the highlights, the yeah, <laughs> to guide them in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I have dated a guy who couldn't read before. Like I look back at some of them, like this was low hanging fruit. And I went to school in Mississippi. Shout out to Ole Miss. And mm -hmm. Ninety percent of the people who went to Ole Miss like, couldn't read. We couldn't fucking read. Yeah. So um, I always say, like, if comedy doesn't work out, I'm fucked. There is nothing on my resume. There is nowhere yeah. I could go to get a job. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, would, would, would dating a person who can't read would the worst part be like the fact that like they can't read, or the fact that other people would know that you're dating someone who can't read? I don't care what other people know about my my partner mm. or my spouse. That's like, because whatever. he can read. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> a, that's a different yeah. thing. Yeah, like if, if someone's like, yeah, she's dating him. I can't believe it. like he's not that good looking. It's like whatever, fuck you. Can't be honest but if with everyone's you? like, yo, that dude can't, can't read. read books. <laughs> it's 2021. Do you know how fucking like niche and like chic that would be? Like, guys, yeah, I'm dating a man who can't read. Yeah. Get on my level. Right, I'm right. progressive as fuck. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. He's, he's not brainwashed he's by the, you know yeah, big society. journalism. He doesn't. He has his own original thoughts. Exactly. Who needs an education when you can be a free thinker <laughs> exactly that would be trending and I love that's it. where i'm at i love so it so maybe that's what i'm gonna look for if there's any ladies out there you don't have to read you know you like the touch of corduroy corduroy and and illiteracy <laughs> yeah and, and that's the last the next so, tour and that's the next tour <laughs> the corduroy <laughs> illiteracy fleshlight tour sponsored by fleshlight <laughs> look under your seats everyone you yeah. got free fleshlight <laughs> and it's only you know. women in the audience and they're like why <laughs> what they're like what is this <laughs> they have no idea and then the three husbands that come to shows are like i'll take it <laughs> <laughs> The best is when I get a husband who's like really into the show, mm -hmm. and like I, I, I'm starting to get a lot more dudes coming to the shows, and they're like, oh, I feel like we have the opposite. We get a lot of girlfriends yeah. who get dragged. You probably have a lot of boyfriends all the time, here. and they're yeah. like, and they always have to make it like, I got drug here. Mm -hmm. I was literally roofied. <laughs> My wife put me in this chair, and they're like, I had a great fucking time. This yeah. was a blast. I'm like, yeah, you yeah. fucker. Women can. Be I know, funny. I know. <laughs> we, I, I feel that too. We, we, we get good like good feedback. Usually they walk away being like, I'm a fan now. Yeah. But I'm like, did. We, were you really expecting that mm -hmm. you were gonna sit here for like an hour and a half and like dread every millisecond of right, it? Like, right, right. give me a gun, I need to kill myself because <laughs> this comedy show is so bad. Like, it's not that bad. So dude. what do y'all do with your show? 
Um, well, we played Flip Cup with milk. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> so we, so we, part of this show is we have people uh, submit videos, like asking questions. Right. And these three girls called in uh, about like a month ago, being like, we, there's four of us who live in college, a college okay. house together, and we go through five gallons of milk per week. And we think that this is a lot. So we called them the milk girls, and we were right. just talking about how much milk these bitches are banging out mm -hmm. every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it kind of became a running thing, and then we had a live show, so we invited them, and so we had to do something ridiculous with milk on stage. Is it whole so, milk, almond milk? Um, whole. They're drinking whole milk, yeah. That's fucking No, weird. no, they're drinking 2%, 2%, sorry. I don't care. If you mm -hmm. are above the age of 18, and you sit down for a meal with a glass of milk, you're a, a, you're literally a serial killer. Oh, I That's fucking on that. disgusting. Disagree I mean, on that. it's, it's pure, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's pure Let me garbage. get this straight. You wear corduroy and drink milk? I'm getting the fuck out of here. No matchmaking anymore. No, fuck you. You're done on your own. Who does that? Dude, Listen, I, I, milk has got a bad rap. Milk is delicious. Give me a milk nice plate of spaghetti good. and meatballs Everyone, with some milk. You know what? Oh, Are you to die spaghetti for? and meatballs? I'm more of a PB milk? and J meatball guy. Oh, we no, have PB and J and meatballs. Meet me up. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. so PB and J and meatballs, I can fuck with. Now you're onto something. That's good. I like that. Yeah. A little sweet and savory. Yeah. A little sweet and savory. <laughs> no, milk um, is so good. Someone invented the sentence. Someone in fucking big almond milk mm -hmm. invented the sentence. We're the only uh, mammal or animal that drinks another animal's milk. Yeah. And, and everyone globbed onto that and stuck mm -hmm. to it. Milk is delicious. Milk is good, and there's nothing milk? wrong with drinking I'll other have like mammals' a, milk. Uh, like a whole milk cappuccino, but no, I'm not going to sit down. What about cereal? Uh, yeah, cereal. Well, I, I'm an almond milk gal. You know Ugh. what I mean? I've well, just, so why, why not have real the real bad, fucking thing? Real bad thing? for the environment, but no, because terrible I, for the environment. I don't know why. It grosses also, me out. Also, you're killing all those almonds. I also don't <laughs> fuck with Kraft Singles American Cheese, and that's controversial. But my <laughs> biggest fear in the world is not, you know, the world ending, getting murdered by a fan. My biggest fear is Kraft Singles. Like, the, the cheese yeah. in the plastic, it, it's a smell, it's a texture. If you want to fuck with me, you you break into my hotel room, you put a bunch of Kraft Singles underneath my pillow. So as I'm going to lay down at night, if I felt one of those, I'd freak the fuck out. My, that's my only weird my thing. My brother used to hammer those as a snack. Uh, and uh, this is going to uh, get worse. Yeah, I get uh, One time he <laughs> left, like, two, like, fell behind his bed. <laughs> And we found them like two years later, no. and they were, just they were black. No, they no, were no, black. no. They were. Okay. I mean, it, yeah, that would be even better if they were totally yeah. fine. But they were just. It was just like imagine if somebody dyed those things black. It was disgusting. Fuck. Moldy I, and black. I, I actually knew I was going to marry my husband when I sent him. He had slept over for the first time, and I sent him to the bodega, and I was like, "Listen, get me bacon, egg, and cheese. It has to be Swiss or cheddar. You have to like clarify. It cannot mm -hmm. be uh, Kraft Singles." But wait, sorry. Yeah. You like American cheese if it's not Kraft Singles? Like if it's a no. boar's head cheese? Oh, uh, if it's no boar's head, I'll fuck. Yeah, oh, okay. I'll, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he came back with the Swiss cheese. I was like, "All right, this is it. We're He's locked and loaded." Yeah. Like you took direction. <laughs> and a snapple, yeah, and a and diet snapple. Snap <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is that your is that your death row meal? Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, salt and pepper, ketchup. Yeah, hot sauce. Yeah, you talking like a New York girl? Well, I used to live here, but she's you know from Atlanta, Southern, mm -hmm. Southern Belle, if I need to be. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, my death meal is probably a crab cake, a wedge salad. I fuck with the wedge. wedge I go to a song. steakhouse and get all the sides. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Your uh, your death row meal is a wedge salad. Just hear me out. Ugh. Wedge salad. Make, crab make her death as painful as possible. <laughs> You're telling me you don't like just blue cheese and bacon and a vessel for it? Is this cold, crisp? Little slice of uh, iceberg. Not for my last meal of all What's time. What's your last meal? There's more things to it. Okay, keep going. Cache Pepe. Okay, I want to. Uh, probably a fillet. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. What else do I want? Some sort of potatoes au gratin. You know what yeah. I mean? Again, over size. mashed potatoes. Strong. Yeah, over mashed yeah. potatoes. Yep. No, yeah, right. I want the layers. Yeah. I want Stop the cheese. Yeah. The Disgusting. broil. Mashed potatoes are the pinnacle of potatoes. I disagree. Nah. Wrong. Well, you're an idiot. Have you ever had a giant yes, sea and it's breeze not as good. loaded baked potato? Yes, not as good as mashed potatoes. Well, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I like the Maybe I will, but the Heather McMahon. Flash flash flash. Flash. <laughs> there you go. You guys, I swear to God, if you make this and then I don't get a cut, I'll fucking kill you. I don't know how you're going to get I, them I all in my God, pussy. If we make this and if you, you don't get a out, cut, I think we're going to have a lot more trouble than, than, yeah, you, yeah, than yeah, you being yeah. a little upset with us. I don't know how you're getting the mold in my Tomorrow, pussy. Like, Heather McMahon Flashlight on sale at KFC Radio. <laughs> I think, I think we got multiple layers like, of like, problems. I don't know what get, the fuck I saw here. Before we get to Heather's going to be mad. Yeah. <laughs> Sit right here. Sit yeah, right yeah, that. yeah that's, <laughs> we'll wiggle around a little more. We need to get the full mold in there. That's so fucked up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, well, well, here we are. Mm. Thanks for having well, this me. Was a, a are we done? Disaster. Can I get yeah, the fuck you out can, of you here? You can yeah, fucking run done. now. <laughs> <laughs> I was even waiting for you to say that for like 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> can I fucking I leave? Yeah. <laughs> All right. The holiday season is approaching. All I want for Christmas this year is YouTube subscribers.
We Please. got we got to get to a hundred thousand. I want Please, that hundred thousand plaque. Uh, we've got a goal for uh, for all you out there, for everybody. At 100,000 subscribers, Polly Feidelberg will join us on the show, maybe. Well, if not, we'll probably have to trick her into it. But at 100K, you will get Polly content. So subscribe. Click the bell uh, icon so you get notifications so that you're always watching. Leave a comment below. Talk about it. Post about it. Spread word. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. 100,000 subscribers on KFC Radio for Polly Feidelberg. Let's make it happen. 